Hello and in today's 5 Minute Friday we're going to cover a subject that's not so much a tutorial as it is a, a proof of concept and that is how to share your 3D models that you've created with people um, and do it in a way that's uh, cheap and easy for them to access. We've covered in the past how to set up things in a public version of WebODM or uh, even allow people to install WebODM on their own PC. But not everybody wants to install a web server on their PC or has the knowledge of how to do that. So what I was looking for was something that's a, a simple free piece of software to use that would enable people to, to import the models and work with them. To do that, what I've come across is um, I've come across this program called Blender. For those of you not in the know, Blender is a 3D modeling tool that's used by the film industry and a lot of other industries. Seems pretty powerful. I'm not going to give you a tutorial on Blender because frankly, I don't know how to use it that well. But what I did want to do was show you how you can use that to access your 3D model. So if you're in WebODM and you download, you use the download all option and you're going to get a zip file and your zip file is going to have a, a long name and it's going to end in zip and we're going to extract that zip file. And once you extract that zip file, you're going to end up with a folder and it's got a bunch of subfolders in it. One, the one that you're interested in is called ODM texturing. And if you open that, what you'll see is it actually has all these strange little boxes that have textures. But down here, you'll see you have a file that ends in .obj, which is the object file. And that's the file that we're going to need. So once we have your files extracted, we're going to come into Blender. And we're just going to open up. And by default, you're going to have this little box in the middle. And we're just going to delete that by hitting the delete key. We're going to come up here and we're going to go File, Import, and we're going to go down and you've got this thing called Wavefront OBJ. This is the newer version. Apparently it's much faster. There's an old version down here called Wavefront OBJ Legacy, but uh, I've tried the standard one and it works fine. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to access my desktop, drill in, go into the texturing. And you'll see we've got this OBJ file here and we're going to double click on that. And it's going to open up and by default you're going to end up with this thing and it's going to be on its side and it's going to be gray. So what can we do to move that around? You can use these little handles up here to move things around. I, I, I got to tell you I struggle with this. The other thing you can do is you can actually, um, if you have a mouse that has um, a, a middle a middle button you can click on that and you can drag it around and as you can see I have no idea what I'm doing but I, it was a bit of trial and error I can get there so now we've got our model and it's here and up here we've got these other options in the top right hand corner and if I click on different ones here we will get texturing and that type of thing applied so there we go this one here second from the right click on that you've got your textures and now you've got this 3d model that you can move around in. And once it's in Blender, you can actually use that. It's almost like a uh, Photoshop program. You can use that to fix any problems that you've got and so on. But it does work. It um, does allow you to move around, zoom in, zoom out, do all the usual things. So uh, that's it. Very simple. I Like I said, I don't know that much about Blender. It seems like a super powerful program. So, But if you are a Blender user, this could be a really great way to get objects into there that you've created in tools like WebODM and uh, and if you're not a Blender user but this allows you to to get access to it or allows your clients to get access to things um, easily and cheaply this is this is just one way to do it anyway not necessarily advocating for it because I don't know enough about it but I did want to put it out there since it is free and available for anyone I hope you found that useful and I'll see you in the next video